Prince EA. We've got yeah. him on the phone right now. Woo! Give a big round of applause. Much, much love, Chris. Thank you. Good to, good to be here, bro. Good to be here. With you. I feel like sort of, it's just, you know, it is those words of wisdom that you throw out. You really just hit the nail on the head sometimes, right? Did you, was this always you, Prince? Was this always who you were as, as a 13-year-old, a 14-year-old, or did it just develop in the last few years? <laughs> That's a great question, man. No, it, it, it was, but it wasn't. And I'll, ex I'll explain that um, contradiction. So, you know, when I, when I was growing up, I always thought, you know, my life, the way that my life was going to go was, okay, I'm going to get money first. I'm going I'm to get my career first. And then I'm going to get into spirituality. And then I'm going to get into personal growth and development and understanding the mind and you know, the heart and compassion, but first, okay, I'm going to make, I'm going to make something out of myself first. And, and back then, you know, I was a musician, right? I was a hip hop artist. Um, but what actually happened was, was a total 180 of what I just said. It was actually me going deep within myself, um, in spirituality, in mindfulness, in psychology that actually created um, just a world of abundance for me and gave me the ability to serve. So to answer your question, no, I wasn't always like that. And I went through a pretty dark time. You know, I, I always tell people, um, you know, it's, it's, it's the dark times when you're really down that, that really bring the most fruit and the most benefit to us. And I think if we can see it during these times, we can gain perspective. Um, I, I give people the, the, the analogy of the lotus flower. The lotus is one of the most beautiful and fragrant flowers on planet Earth, but it only grows from the mud, from the dirty, ugly, stinky swamp, right? These low places. It ain't, it ain't growing on gold. It ain't growing in, in the highlands. It's only from these low places. And so I tell people all the time, these low places, being there is what creates the beauty of you to emerge from it. Wow. Yeah. Only a little snippet of what is going to be happening September 3rd. Tony Robbins live, and there he is, Prince EA, who's going to be jumping on stage at the Coca-Cola Arena. Now, earlier on, Chris was saying that he discovered you on the Explore page on Instagram, and I feel like Instagram is a great place right now because you do find a lot of inspiration for the soul, as they say, and I love the way that you create things, and I do believe it cuts through, obviously, 2.3 million on Instagram. But what do you say to the person that's looking at your profile and is liking the words that you're saying? How do you get those words to translate into your life? Like, how do you use the words you're saying and make it actually useful in your life? Because I find that hard sometimes, you know? Yeah, no, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, this is this is an issue for most people. And, um, you know, there's an old saying, and it goes, you, you can't get drunk from the word wine, right? So mm -hmm. you actually have to drink it, right? So all of the inspiration, all of the wisdom, the pointings, you can't just read it and that's it, right? We have to take that next step. And a lot of people um, kind of lack the, the, the courage and don't have the proper self-image to take that next step. And so I think this is what we're going to be getting on September 3rd, is how do we, how do we shape our self-image to the point where we deserve greater things for us, where we, we deserve to, to achieve things beyond our wildest dreams, beyond our imagination, because everybody deserves to be their highest and fullest versions of themselves. And there's a strategy and a way to get there and on September 3rd, I think a lot of people are going to are gonna figure that out and leave there just uplifted and, and just on the right path for the rest of their life. Super cool, man. Again, yeah, September 3rd, uh, Coca-Cola Arena. All details, uh, hit up our social media. We've got all the ticket yep. details there right now. Can I ask you, uh, celebrities, uh, uh, have you had any, like, oh, my OMG moments when a celebrity's liked or commented on, on any of your videos or, or got in contact with you? <laughs> Yeah. Um, wow. I, I never, I never get that question. So let me think. Um, <laughs> you know, there's like, you know, Huda Beauty. Like I, I, had, I don't know if you, I mean, she's like huge. On she's, a, she's a good like friend of ours. Actually, she's a good. No, no, she's a good friend of ours. Yeah. Huda Beauty. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, and I was like, I was like, you know, she's like reposting a lot of my stuff, and I'm like, wow, okay. And then I check her out. And she's got all these followers, like Kristen Bell, like she's like two days ago, like what? retweeted my stuff. You know, Oprah, obviously, you know, she she's amazing. She supports me. She like plays my videos on her. Um, she premieres them on her Super Soul. How channel. how is that to have yeah. Oprah? You've got Oprah. There there is there is no one there is no one above Oprah. That's okay? true. Like, there is no one That's there. True. Like mm. how is it to have Oprah? That that must be an amazing feeling, Prince. It's, it is amazing. It is amazing, man. Listen, when I met her, um, this was in LA. Maybe the first time was about two years ago, and uh, you know she was she was just so supportive. And we resonate, I think, on a on a deep spiritual level, um, you know. But when I met her, you know, we, we hugged. She gave me a kiss on the cheek, and you know, to this day, I have yet to to, to wash the left side of my face. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. I don't blame you either, man. I don't blame you. Listen, uh, Alicia Keys, uh, of course, Tony Robbins, Nick Wojcik, which who's who we've had on the show as well, yeah. who's so inspirational. This is 10 hours of just motivational talks at the Coca-Cola Arena. It's brought to you by Nahaji and uh, Achieve the Unimaginable. And you know what? This, this man on the phone right now is really going to get you to where you need to be or just assist on the journey of life. Prince EA, we look forward to having you once again back here in Dubai. Woo! Give me a big round of applause. Yeah. Much love, much love, much love. Virgin Radio.